Yo, what's going on, Gary? It's Sekabogo here, bringing you another uh, Genshin Impact video. For this video, we'll be going over re-rolling four-star characters with five-star weapons and five-star characters with four-star weapons, so you can compare the two and figure out which one you want to re-roll for. It's going to be kind of difficult on re-rolling for Genshin Impact because weapons and characters are on the same banner, so you have to choose between the two and figure out which one you're going to like to do better. So in this video, we're going to show a comparative test between the two, so you can kind of see the damage difference between a five-star weapon on a four-star character and a four-star character with a five-star weapon to get an idea of what to expect. And then I'll give you some ideas and thoughts and points of what I've seen in the game and what I like for characters and gameplay. So without further ado, let's go jump right into it. Okay guys, so I am in the middle of a dungeon here and I'm gonna be doing kind of a comparative test and I'm gonna be comparing two different things. The first thing we're comparing is gonna be a five-star character Mona versus a four-star character Fischl with a five-star weapon. And um, right now, so you can know the little attack there, they're very com comparable in the total amount of attack value that they do have for their weapons. Uh, the weapon I have right now, if I look at the weapon right for this character, it's actually a level 50 weapon, so it's a little bit under-leveled versus the, the weapon over here, which is actually a level 60 weapon. So this will give you uh, a kind of close comparison of what to expect. I could enhance this level 60, and then we could see a little bit more on what to expect, but trying to get a very, very close comparison is very difficult. Also, um, I have level three in the talents for her main auto attack as well as her actual E ability. I do not have maxed out for her ulti because I just don't have enough mats. I'm actually farming this dungeon to get mats to do that as well. And um, on the other side, we have Mona who has uh, level three talents as well. Um, both characters have, I believe, plus eight artifacts at this point. Let me go just over to Fish over here. I believe she has plus eight artifacts as well. She has a plus 12, couple plus 12s. So a little bit higher on the total artifact gain. And I'm using a Berserker set on my, oh, sorry, let's go back to artifacts. I'm using Berserker and uh, Sojourner for attack on my official. And I am using an Exile and Braveheart set for my Mona because of the way Mono does work. Uh, for total attack values, uh, Mona has a, a 930 attack currently, and my official's at 1024 attack. So she has a little bit more attack because of uh, the sets that she's using, she's not running Exile. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a damage test here so you can kind of see the two characters on this center here. Delve into destiny. So, got this coming out, got the ulti, and then I'm just gonna use big damage here. She's so about 2300 for ulti for all the heroes on the field. You can see a lot of damage. Now, for raw ultimate damage, I'm seeing you can see a big difference here for Mona. And then let's do a spike hit here. Boom. Piece of damage. And then we're going to go back to white damage over here. And you can kind of see this character doing a little bit less. With a four star character, you can do a little bit less than just raw white damage. So let's go back to raw normal damage. See about 200 attack. Uh, for her for just basic hits, you can see she's not doing a ton of damage. There's the white hits from Fischl doing about 300, and you can see it's scaling very, very heavily. So what I can see between the two characters is that by using different kinds of elements or reactions, you can potentially get more damage, like this, and just get crazy amount of burst damage. But then your follow-up damage from a four-star character will be crazy good damage too. So part of the reason that this is such a weird test to figure out which one's better between a four-star character with a five-star weapon versus a five-star character is because there's so many good four-star characters out there. And the thing with this official is I'm actually able to do tons of damage on her and then do lots of white damage to the enemies. And white damage, of course, since it's non-elemental, I can just do raw damage to enemies. And I don't have to worry as much. All right, so then I can use ultimate gear again. Okay, and let's go. Shadows of fate. And let's just finish off with some other damage. Here. So you can kind of see the burst damage that you're getting from Mona versus the raw damage from Fischl. You can get a pretty comparable amount between the two. So some hill curls up here, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use elemental synergy between the two characters, and I am going to be using Fischl as well as uh, Mona exclusively for this fight. And I'm gonna show you the damage difference between the two. So I'm gonna go ahead and rush in with Mona because that makes the most sense. We're gonna use uh, her E ability first. I'm gonna use this ability in a second. And then we're going to just start dropping bombs. So you can see this is what she can do as far as overall damage. But then once all that's over with, her damage drops pretty heavily. Whereas you go to Fischl for cleanup damage here, crazy good cleanup damage. So 
between the two, um, the elemental damage that you get from a five star character versus a four star character with, with kind of white damage, you can really see that the burst damage that you get from one character can be much higher depending on how you use the units. And let's go over here. All right, so another dude over here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just start it up on this dude here. And I'm just Mona's taunt ability over here. And we're gonna use the ability, ability. boom. And then we're gonna use her ultimate. And then the, the mass damage that we did there. We got half of his HP bar. It's good. The guys with the shields are kind of more. All right, let's switch to Mona here. You see, Mona's raw damage can get pretty high up there, but when we use against just one character, like we're just doing some cleanup damage. Official with a four-star weapon can do pretty darn. Oh, five-star weapon can do pretty good too. And again, this is a level 50, level 60 weapon that um, that Mona has. So you can get even higher damage than this. All right, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop in on these guys real quick again. And you can see just with Fischl by herself, you can do this, you can do a very similar thing where you can just drop in, do mass damage and kill people. So it's very, very comparable between the two. Um, overall, I can't tell you which one's better, but I can tell you that when playing Mona, I'm having a lot of fun. She does have some quirks to her that I don't like. Fischl is the same thing. I have some, some quirks to her that I don't like. I don't really like Fischl's ultimate, or I don't like Mona's iframe. And uh, no matter what, there's always going to be a character that has something that you do like and something that you don't like. And just go ahead and keep playing around with characters, elemental synergies, and things like that, and you'll have a lot better over time versus trying to get the perfect reroll. <laughs> So as far as characters and things that you could potentially reroll for, the uh, gameplay of characters I've seen so far for really good characters, I have seen people play John, I believe I've Deluke, Mona, Kiki, and Kate and Ki King. Uh, my th I think Ki King is my favorite to watch. Uh, she's kind of a lightning sword based character that's very, very cool. I definitely think that she would be a very fun character for people to play. Whereas Mona is more of a mage character, kind of a drawback. Diluc kind of a, sl a slower kind of character if you're looking for a big hit, slow character. Uh, Kiki, kind of in between. Um, for fast and sp fast and slow, and then John is more uh, a lot closer from what I s I've seen to your main character, so you're not going to see a ton of difference between the two. Uh, for the weapons, though, each weapon has its own quirk, and uh, they also have different abilities on them. So if I go to a, a four-star weapon here, this one as triggering elemental reaction gives you eight percent bonus damage. That's the weapon I'm using for her. That's why I want to use elemental reactions on her. They're so much bigger because they do way more damage. Uh, also, trying to trigger elemental reactions will also boost the amount of um, energy that I have and it will get my actual my cooldown up faster for my ultimate. So the way this works though is if I do a critical, uh, increase the critical damage by 20% and then hits have a 60% chance of inflicting a small AOE attack equal to 125% of your damage every four seconds. So every four seconds you're getting this big massive explosive hit uh, just with your normal left click attacks. So you can get a very big burst surge with your elemental synergy where with Mona, like I was saying, and do large amounts of burst damage, whereas this will do more raw damage over time. So between the two types of characters for legendary weapons versus normal weapons, I don't have a really perfect comparison, but I think that this is a good way to think about it. If you use the characters differently, then you can get more damage overall. It's really good to pull a four-star character with a five-star weapon or a five-star character with a four-star weapon. It's totally up to you which way you want to go, but the thing that's really nice is that a five-star character, you can actually get a four-star weapon really easily by crafting it. So if you do want to end up rolling for a character and you want to go just to get a four-star weapon and you're worried about get the ability to get a four-star weapon, what's really nice about four-star weapons in this game is you can actually craft them. They are available to be crafted. With a, they take a little bit longer to get, but you can craft them. It is a totally doable thing. So if you do want to go for a character, it might be a better option because then you can get 
get the four star weapon at any time you want. A five star weapon though, of course, is gonna be really, really good for any character you transfer to. So if you end up getting the corresponding character that you do want, or you wanna use a four star character in your team that does comparable damage or just really high damage, you can have that option. Five star weapons versus four star weapons, there's a pretty noticeable difference between the two when comparing them at the same level. I've noticed that a level 50 legendary weapon versus a level uh, 60 epic weapon is pretty close in damage. The epic weapon, the legendary weapon will do a little bit more, so the five star weapon will do more, but it's pick. really close. So in summary, well, what you need to do, basically, if you're gonna be reeling at any point, you make sure that you get the correct things that you need. Uh, duplicates are not another great, but since you, no matter what, are guaranteed a four-star character or a four-star weapon every single time, you're gonna be getting something out of this list that is really good. Uh, I figured I've used the Rust weapon, it's really nice. Bar um, as far as the four-star characters that you could get, potentially, uh, my favorites that I've seen so far are Barbara, which is really, really nice for healing. Super good character to have in your in your roster. Uh, she's made, she's trivialized a lot of the gameplay for me. She's one of the characters that I, I, she, I rolled first. And because I had her in my roster, I never had to make food or never had to worry about my health. I just ended up using her heal and then healing every character on my team. Another character that does does have healing that I did see that I kind of liked was Bennett, but on his ultimate. So if you did want to kind of an energy build for Bennett and got his ultimate up a lot all the time, he has a, he's kind of a passive booster. And I haven't had yeah, time to play with him a lot, but he's a really cool character for a four star character that you can just heal with your ultimate. Uh, Ning Wang is one of the characters I've used a lot. Uh, she is a character. Fate is called as such let's for it here. It's this character right here, and this right here is Barbara. She's our healer character. This is Ning Wang. This character is kind of a nice character for walling off enemies as well as uh, doing large amounts of burst damage. The wall that she puts up will actually block all projectiles, which is pretty nice. And she does geo damage, which is very helpful for whenever you're trying to mine uh, anything. Um, your main character will have geo, but it doesn't do anything near enough as what Ning Wang can do as far as farming. This is a character that I, uh, I do have in my kit. This character I don't really like too much, but she is really handy for her passive ability. And if I go to Secrets here, this is what she looks like. Her, one of her talents is really helpful. She actually has the ability to, um, that's not what I wanted. This one. When she crafts any kind of weapon enhancement material, she has a 10% chance to double the product. These types of characters are really nice to have and super handy just to like get a bunch of, because if you do get the characters and get the enhancement materials doubled, you do get you know, a lot more, res it saves you a lot of resources and a lot of farming, which is super nice. Uh, as far as the character's kit though, I didn't really like her too much. She wasn't like, great but she's a wind character and that's probably why i didn't really like her the, be able to trigger elements of your actual wind was really cool but you can do that with your main character anyway so i wasn't really like in the you know really really into that um official's a character that i've used a lot she is a great character um she, she has the ability to drop a bird that basically just does just shoots electro bolts at people and triggers elemental reactions so you can actually just drop another character's elemental reaction like say Zhang, uh Zheng Ling, or not the amber sorry uh Zheng Ling here and Zheng Ling we got for free on the uh, chinese version as far as a free pickup at level 20. uh she has the ability to drop a little bear dude i'll just put it out right now for you so this little bear dude will just you know drop fire butt rests in front of you and then what i'm able to do is if i switch over to official i can drop the bird at the same time and the bird and the that will do damage while i can also do auto attacks and that will give me a really high amount of damage uh, mona i've seen really good for elemental reactions very very cool unit some issues with iframes but otherwise really good but barba being able to heal everybody with this ability here you can see if i switch characters i can actually just heal um, and it's really handy to just be able to heal every 30 seconds while you're running around the world uh, for whenever you do a misstep. It saves me a lot of time. I think she's one of the best characters to have in your, in your roster. If you do end up getting her, it's very nice. I've seen gameplay of Key King and I really like the ability to teleport up. It's gonna save you a lot of time in climbing, which you do a lot in the game. John and Deluke, I haven't really seen any major use for them to make QL a little bit better. Um, but Mona is able to run really fast over water, which helps you a lot on swimming time. So that's cool too. Uh, swimming is really, really annoying for a little uh, amount of time there. And she gets uh, some boosts as well for other things. Um, Chang Ying, I haven't seen. Noelle, I was, we all get for free on the beginner banner. She's not really my favorite. Uh, I didn't really like her gameplay, but some people did say that she was kind of good, but I'm not really sure. I haven't seen Jinku or Je uh, Jinku yet, uh, Beto yet. Wasn't really into them. Um, Amber, Kaya, and Lisa are all free to play characters that you'll get. And you'll experience those for yourself. Um, all three of which are kind of okay. Lisa was my favorite of the three because she said, chises with water really, really well. Um, 
and then of course Sinners of Barbara. Kaya, I haven't really tried too much, but he's a Frost character, and I haven't seen a ton of Frost characters in the game. Uh, but that's gonna be it for the four star characters and the five star characters. Kiki, I don't know how she, uh, how she, she plays. So um, I've seen some gameplay. I didn't really enjoy what I saw. It was kind of cool for the animations, but like I didn't like see anything that was really standing out. So, 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 so far. My uh, my highest damage for burst damage character is Mona. My overall highest damage character that I have after almost over 50 hours of playing is going to be Fischl. And if I go into Barbara, Barbara's going to be my highest, uh, my best healer. And best girl healer is nice too. So uh, her ultimate ability is also a heal too. So she has double heal mechanics. And this ability here where she drops things around herself will do area effects uh, spinning attack. Uh, for her water swirl, so that's really good too. Hey right, guys, my name is Sekapoko. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, of course, like and subscribe, all the fun stuff. And you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.